Okay, let's try this time something different. Let's try site pairing between production site and aka source site and an offshore site. What if, or not what if, let's say, as you know, currently I have vSphere application between source and target, or in other words, in terms of business terminologies, between production site and disaster recovery site, right? So my production VM server one, which is very, very critical VM, the most important and critical VM in the world is protected at DR site, right? And I have one more VM, and I would like it to be protected at offshore site, which is this one. Where did you go? This one, VRA3, it's an offshore site, right? So how about setting up a pairing between a production site and offshore site? I want server two to get recovered from offshore side and server two to run from offshore side in case of a disaster. I want server one to run from DR side and server two to run from offshore side. Okay, let's try that. Is it possible to have multiple pairings or not? Well, the option is still there. So click site pair. And this time I will mention my offshore site vCenter hosting and user account which is valid for that. I'm using local SSO, the default vSphere.local an admin account right you can create any next yes certificates there it detect the vCenter and it says yes vSphere application it's there the service is present okay sir so first site is VCSA second site VCSA3 for application and site recovery manager unfortunately we don't have so finish and see i hope there is no time sync or dns issue what we'll come to know Mm, I think I created record. Yeah, lovely. So I have another pairing now. Okay. So, what to do? A wild idea. Let's. Somebody had asked me this question before. Can I, using vSphere application, can I recover a single VM from a source site to multiple target site? For example, this server one right now it's protected right and it's getting replicated to dr site can i replicate server one also in addition to dr site can i replicate it also to offshore site so that server one will have two copies basically or two 
two targets, one pointing to DR and one to offshore. And I can recover wherever I want, provided I have a networking. So let's see in this case. Well, as per VMware documentation, it's not possible. Um, VM can be replicated to one so sorry target site only so multi site targeting is not supported it is one to one relationship means if I am replicating server one from prod to DR I cannot replicate server one from prod to offshore okay that's what the document documentation says one to one relationship let's see let's try we won't lose anything do we okay so if we go to this pairing from production to offshore and Administrator at V. Oh, spelling mistake. Sorry about that. Okay. So, replication. And if I say new from outgoing, you see, server one is not available for me to select. So, it means one to one as i said one to one relationship here all right so this is true vm can be replicated to one target site only from one source of course to one site right multiple site targeting is not supported so and as we can see server one is not available from for us to pick and to replicate from prod to offshore because server one we are already replicating let me show you server one we are already replicating here from prod to dr okay so i will stop this video right here uh, of course i can replicate server 2 though or let's do it let's as we are here anyway let's do let's replicate server 2 to offshore so replicate new server 2 yep next keep same source and this is the data store i wanted and 15 minutes and keep one instance for one day or two instances maximum if I don't choose guest coincing is fine. I don't want to in this case. So server two and it is configuring 
server 2 for replication as you can see and started an initial sync so it's so at the moment server 2 is in the process of initial sync and yep as you can see it is progressing so i will pause the video and i will resume when it is ready okay i'm back after the break and as you can see server 2 is synced so if we want as we can see the details i did not use quizzing and i used the data store and it took um sync duration was seven minutes last sync size was this much gigabytes and it's all good so it will automatically sync again after 15 minutes because the rpo time as you can see is 15 minutes so every 15 minutes is supposed to sync but if i need to manually sync it at any time i can select and make it sync now right and as you can see start syncing again and it's completed because there is not not much change see the last sync size 1.11 mb so if i go to my offshore site super secret site recovery right again just in case if you missed that previous video we should not we will will not see the replicated vms right here we won't be able to see it we will be able to see those vms in, under site recovery and if we open site recovery as usual we'll go to the pairing come on mm -hmm. this is the pairing and you can say it has one incoming ask for a password I know and and replications and no outgoing but incoming because it is receiving input like it's it is getting the replica so replica is right here as you can see okay so this is how we configure vm on repli or rep sorry this is how we configure a replication on, on a VM level and we protect and configure replication to replicate VMs from one site to another site in next video I will show you how to recover VM in DR site or let's say server 2 in offshore site if you need okay so take it easy